good afternoon dear students today i am going to talk about a very very beautiful topic a very short but a very nice topic it's a content of the femoral triangle and that is the femoral nerve so if you have uh, watched my previous videos on nerves you know that there is a set format in which you write a nerve and so we are going to follow that same format in uh, uh, understanding the femoral nerve also now this is the nerve of the lower limb till now we have talked about nerves of the upper limb and we had seen that nerves of the upper limb were branches of the brachial plexus now here this is the femoral nerve which is branch of the lumbar plexus so first we'll uh, go to which points we are going to see uh, in the end of the femoral nerve so first we'll write origin and root value the second point is uh, course and relations the third point will be branches and the fourth point will be upper and upper so it is the same points on which we are going to understand the femoral nerve so as i told you that femoral nerve if you talk about the origin and root value please understand it is very important to understand the origin and root value of the femoral nerve because there is a another nerve of the lower limb which is obturator nerve which has the same root value with only one word difference i'll tell you what that is a femoral value when if you are femoral nerve you see the root value it uh, it arises as a branch of the lumbar plexus and its root value is dorsal divisions of anterior primary rami of l2 l3 and l4 so second third and fourth lumbar nerves they are dorsal divisions of anterior primary rami of l2 3 4 will constitute the formation of the femoral nerve so root value will be l2 3 4 but what you have to understand it is dorsal divisions okay you can remember this by remembering fd okay femoral division is dorsal division femoral nerve is dorsal division i told you that there is only one word difference between the obturator nerve and the femoral nerve the obturator nerve has the same root value but it is ventral divisions of anterior primary rami of l234 so that is how you have to understand this very simple concept that femoral nerve arises from dorsal divisions of anterior primary rami of l234 and obturator nerve arises from ventral divisions of anterior primary rami of l234 okay now the next point is to understand the course and relation now here also only four words which are very important to understand about the course and relation of the femoral nerve and that will give you the answer please believe that there will be no easier explanation to this than what i am talking about okay so to understand the course and relations you know that this is the anterior superior iliac spine this is pubic symphysis then this is the pubic tubercle you have the inguinal ligament here and you have the femoral triangle that is going to be here okay we have discussed the anatomy of the femoral triangle now what happens is the femoral nerve like i have to please follow the way i am uh, explaining this to you you will not have to learn this uh, one more time you just listen to my video once and i am sure that you will catch the femoral nerve and you will be able to write the answer anyhow so you have to see that the femoral nerve will come from the dorsal division of anterior went uh, uh, dorsal division of anterior primary rami of l234 this nerve will come from the pelvis it will enter the thigh and it will go deep to the inguinal ligament okay so this is your inguinal ligament the femoral nerve is going to enter the thigh and it is going to enter the femoral triangle passing deep to the inguinal ligament so what first uh, word you should know it will come into the thigh passing deep to the inguinal ligament okay and it is going to enter the femoral triangle now the second point that you should understand here is that when you have seen the femoral triangle we have seen that this femoral nerve is going to be lateral to the femoral artery so it enters the femoral triangle the second point that you should know it is lateral to femoral artery lateral to the femoral artery okay then what the next point you should know this is outside the femoral sheath very very important to remember in the study we have seen that the femoral sheath was a facial sheath that was covering the femoral artery and the femoral vein so what you should remember that the femoral nerve lies third point what you should remember it is outside the femoral sheath outside the femoral sheath okay this is the third very important point and now the fourth point if you remember what we had drawn here uh, seen as the base of the femoral triangle erector longus pectinus psoas major and inguinus these are four muscles which are going to lie in the as the floor of the femoral triangle so this femoral nerve will lie in the groove between erector longus and pectinus so it will lie between lie between erector longus is sorry 
pectineus and iliacus. Sorry, it is lying between pectineus and iliacus. Okay, so I hope this will be very simple for you. See, first four points you have to remember that the femoral nerve is going to come from the dorsal divisions of anterior primary gamma of N234. It enters the thigh passing deep to the inguinal ligament as we have seen here. Then it will enter the femoral triangle, it is going to lie lateral to the femoral artery. Next, it will lie outside the femoral sheath very importantly, and it is lying between pectineus and iliacus. These four points will give you the course of the uh, of course and roughly the relations of the femoral triangle also. Okay, now what happens is this nerve will run for a very short course of about four to five centimeters and it immediately divides into anterior and posterior divisions. Okay, it will divide into anterior and posterior division. Now, one thing which you should know, and you are listening to my video, so this point you should understand that the, these anterior and posterior divisions are separated by an artery. The an artery will form like a separation between the anterior and the posterior division, and that is uh, this artery is lateral circumflex femoral artery. Lateral circumflex femoral artery. This artery is going to be the point of division between the anterior and the posterior divisions of the femoral nerve. Simple. So, femoral nerve, very simple topic. First point, uh, dorsal divisions of anterior primary ligament of L234. Enter the femoral triangle passing deep to the inguinal ligament. It is going to be lying in the uh, lateral to the femoral artery, outside the femoral sheath, and the lying between pectineus and iliacus. It runs for a short course of about 4 to 5 centimeters and divides into anterior and posterior divisions. And these anterior and posterior divisions are separated from each other by lateral circumflex femoral artery. Simple, no? that is the course of the femoral nerve. Now, the next point is branches. Now, as you have seen that all nerves have three types of branches. You will have muscular branches, then you will have articular branches, and you will have cutaneous branches. Okay, now it is very simple to understand if you understand the nerve like this. Now, muscular branches. As you know that the femoral nerve has uh, is divided into anterior and posterior divisions. This anterior division of the femoral nerve supplies only one muscle, that is sartorius. Okay, and the posterior division supplies the quadriceps femoris. Quadriceps femoris. Quadriceps femoris meaning you will have vastus lateralis, vastus medialis, vastus intermedius, and rectus femoris. So these are these are the muscles which will be supplied by the posterior division. Okay, is it clear till here? And it also supplies your articularis genu also. Okay, so that is about the branches, muscular branches. Now, articular branches, the femoral nerve is going to supply the hip joint. That is, the, those are the articular branches of the uh, femoral nerve and cutaneous branches. The anterior division gives off a cutaneous branch, which is going to supply the intermediate and the medial side of the thigh. Okay, it will supply the cutaneous branch, which supply intermediate and medial compartment of the thigh. Okay. And the second, the posterior branch gives off a cutaneous nerve which is called saphenous nerve. This is very important. Okay, The cutaneous branch of the posterior division of the femoral nerve is called saphenous nerve. And this saphenous nerve is going to go further into the adductor canal and then it is going to go and supply uh, end within the knee joint. So that is the importance of the cutaneous branches. Clear? I hope you have understood this. So very simple short topic. Very beautifully, I have explained this and I have tried to explain this to you. So please go through this video and understand the way I have explained this. It will be very easy for you to understand the femoral line. I can guarantee you if you remember it point wise, you will never have to read it from the textbooks also. Okay. And the last point remains is the applied anatomy. If there is going to be any uh, lesion of the femoral nerve or injury to the femoral nerve, it is going to cause paralysis of the quadriceps femoris. Okay. That is the uh, simplest applied anatomy that you can think of about the femoral nerve. And last but not the least, please watch the videos, take advantage of the videos, uh, refer these videos to your friends, let more people uh, watch the videos, kindly like my videos and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.